Hello, greetings. Uh, this is my Facebook live stream. There's a little sound be behind or with the mobile I use. Uh, this one. So the sound comes on live stream. Uh, so I apologize for that. But here's my case. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to replay my live stream. And it's for, I think, uh, a little more than... 30 minutes please listen this is my case it's a panic struck uh, there's a tug of war like I'm pulled my uh, sorry I have to take uh, I have to refer to someone someone had uh, some help uh, but it was not enough they tried to spoil my relationship with Miss Asteria Desa yeah, I've been disturbed since childhood. Uh, Ms. Desa had uh, finally sent a, le lo uh, a letter from a lawyer, Dr. Uh, Mr. Aziz. Uh, so, whoever I love or like, I go overboard, uh, get all this, and uh, they flip the minds of the other person, myself, I can see how I become stubborn. Uh, panic struck and uh, negativity self going into self destruction so you would think it is Zahra against Zahra my mother when she was alive they threw us into servants we would you know all this sending in Karachi like, uh, you know, Khawas, Khawas Ji, uh, he said about what Zulfikar Bhutto had done to him. And you know how he then abuses. So I remember Khawas Ji after having abused here severely and every. So, uh, you know, how can, uh, it's not Khawas Ji's uh, fault, right? for abusing Mural Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. We learned all this from the upbringing. Otherwise, the Parsis have been very decent. The Parsis I've known, uh, I mean, going to their area, walking, it's like Jews' area. <clears throat> they never harass, they never interfere in other people's problems. Um, I don't know why, uh, what kind of, uh, and my neighbor Farooq Ansari started to come and tell me that there's a churel there where the garbage is uh, in the Parsi colony area. Things were turning against me, you know, because he had said Parsi Kekre, I learned from him, never heard of this phrase before. I went and was just uh, teasing Miss Desal. You know, we had become friends and all this. She had Parsi friends, so I got into trouble. I never took, uh, I never even told her that it was actually Farooq, my my neighbor. I learned and this. He told me. Then she gave it to me that. Um, uh, they what they call so now i see <clears throat> so i uh, like this i don't know what's on us my some my aunt was doing prayers for mrs munira guzar and later on joining saint joseph's college <clears throat> my aunt said that uh, there is this balao, doesn't, she won't be, uh, itna sakht kya hua hai jadu, ke principal nahi aan sakhi ki, tumhare ghar pe, the bala doesn't want, bhoat sakht, kuch ghar mein hai, it's in the house, <coughs> so you know like us abusing, we can only abuse khawas ji, before, Life. I mean, I've seen his videos of what they did to his life. 
So he started to abuse. Uh, he said, uh, using the word mother, you know, that abuse. And uh, so we are coming in the, not only in the, forget that we are coming in the, uh, you know, our reputations, but uh, here the sheikhs and all, the, and they are going to punish us, my, uh, my brothers, me, we. If they can't do it directly, they will do it indirectly by showing me that Safdar's younger brother, you know, like is a sheikh and all this. And uh, through some people over, like I got all these kachras. And uh, so they spoiled so cleverly my relationship with Mr. Sam. No, in the beginning, uh, Olympics, my father told me that Ms. Dissa, now look at this. This is just one example that Ms. Dissa looked at us from the corner of her eye. She was walking in front of us, but she never said hi. Later on, always like I'm looking at Ms. Dissa from the corner of my eye in one auditorium once, after the auditorium, after whatever we were watching in the auditorium, Miss Desai had also come. You saw me from the corner of your eye and you're seeing me from the corner, like this is not good. And um, so it's like I have done some crime here. You see, it came on me. My father had said, See, Ms. Dissa, at the Olympics, our first Olympics, my first Olympics in Karachi American School, my father had come and told me, Ms. Dissa, like, she saw us, but she didn't, never said hi. Now, problem arose, always, like, I had this emotional heartbeats fast, and... Uh, you know, doing funny things, uh, like in the morning, if um, th I, there's a chance, uh, if I get a chance to see Ms. Desa, um I wouldn't say hi to her, I would act funny. And then Ms. Desa would say, don't say hi, say good morning also, and on that, and also that you saw me, it was like crazy. I was acting crazy. And Ms. Dissa had to reprimand me and correct me and say, you saw me. It was always like that, you know, you saw me, but uh, you then turned your face away. I mean, from a distance, you, I saw you or uh, you could have come, you know, why did you at least like wave or, you know, like, hello, Ms. Dissa, good morning. All the time we started to have this problem in Karachi American School until I was there six years. I wasn't changing. Ms. Dissa was, poor lady was after me, trying to discipline me, bring out, you know, in, uh, no, instill Prince of the Truth. So I used to admire her for that. She used to go out of her way, like who has the time? to go out of their way. She really cared. She came to my place. Even then she would. So we became good family friends. But just this one time at the Olympics, uh, the curse came on me. Then my father was out of this. Then, uh, I don't know, funny that I was acting funny with Ms. Desa and the blame came on me. Ms. Desa herself once, because of my behavior, I started to uh, look at her through the corner of my eyes. I remember exact words of Ms. Desa that my father had said in the Olympics about Ms. Desa. Person flips and we're being punished for the effects.
and don't say bad words. So, you know, Miss Desai had Parsi friends, although I did not stick my tongue out. But that also got, the Parsis went against me, that this girl is a spoil. One day she comes and says, my friends are saying that you are a spoiled brat, new one, freak, before, <coughs> a freaky person, you know, like a freak, acting like a freak. Business So who I know what happened in my childhood. I know what Sorry, I just had to pause here, it stopped somehow. So um continuing with this live stream on Facebook. What happened to my mother? I know how they made her go wild. Emotionally wild. I know, but the others don't know this. Very, very strange. Now, uh, so I come here and I start to really like say, oh, you know, I sent abusive text messages <coughs> to my father. After that, I come here and abuse the beloved of mine for whom uh, I, I fought against Marion Williamson for abusing Miss Dissa. I gave it back to her in Karachi American School. So my aunt told me this or someone. You suffered this bala, I can't fight it. Um, Zabardast hai. Idar bhi mujhe, the way they've done it, I can't help it, please. Uh, they spoiled my relationship as a heart wrenching. I cannot tell you, I do keep my heart. My heart, sorry, <laughs> stone, uh, not me. I, uh, I should take responsibility, right? But what if uh, the person is under duress? So, you know, my hair, it was like my hair was being pulled. My nerve, not only my hair, but the nerves of my head, my whole body now. Uh, feeling like someone is kissing me inside, you know, with the man's beard and, you know, uh, cr uh, crawling under my skin and seducing me, my breath. I, I can't control it. My private part, I feel the dick of a man sitting here. You know what I mean? It's hard to, uh, like, on, on all this and then, covert narcissists against so I felt like they they tried to trap me using American like you know the rage the malignment the person who is the covert narcissist is going to malign you so you know uh, this is uh, Um, and uh, principles also behavior changing cold I told myself Miss Tissa turned cold she would not listen to my begging please Miss Tissa see me then one day many years later um, at uh, I saw her I saw her at uh, so it's really really bad. No, I saw it at uh, Mrs. Munira Gulzar's second son's wedding. My father said she's become senile. She did, yeah, she has. I said hi, Miss Desa. Hello, Miss Desa, to her sister. Uh, she didn't say. My father could say that because you know he used to be called to their house. So I apologize very greatly. 
my mother. So, you know, my father started to say that in Ghulam Hussain's family, my father, my grandfather, <laughs> my aunt was telling me, Acha ho, prostitution mein jab badmash ho jaye, ladkiya, hamari. So my father was really criticizing Maha's Shalwar and Abir, Kaur's daughter's Shalwar. Shalwar. Why are they so up like this? And all this, right? So I was like, now Maha, she's uh, lost her mother. And uh, they don't see that at all, right? Even the Arabs here, I don't know how far. Like they're not going to see my father does not see Ben Chodh on the phone. Only one Ben Chodh he gave you. He gave you. Uh, uh, so I had to go and give him the mobile which had many, you know, Contact. so very, very, Contact very well number. planned here. So I would lose the numbers of. Saima Peer. Oh, yeah, so I had those, uh, this mobile with the, the old contact numbers and everything. So continuing. And you know what I mean? Oh, very, very well planned. Oh, okay, so his phone, he was talking to me. His phone did not fall. It was a setup. He didn't need my phone. He could simply, uh, simply go and... Uh, Buy, he could get, uh, you know, Majid al them, his brother, or his, his, uh, he could get a gift. <coughs> so, he could go, he was living there near Barjuman. 300 dirhams phone. Mine was like 300 dirhams. No, it was about the, you know, I later on. So very, very clever, like what, how she was, I would respond. He could get a phone from his brothers. But it, uh, why it had to be me, I know. So it's very well planned. They know how I will react. What's the next? That's a very, very well planned. What's the next move? I will Wise take. wisdom of. Everything is going the way, the way they wish to go with me. So please follow the UAE shapes on how uh, to progress. <clears throat> because India and I, Radha Rani was a liar. You are dishonest. Yeah, so another incident here in Dubai lately which uh, showed me that uh, the Hindus are dishonest and after money. So, I go value me and no value if you don't know. Yes, if you know English and if you have a British, I think we not. Oh, it's a Khuda and go, like whatever they want. Uh, to do against me, I take my case up and, uh, you know, whatever. Want to send me kachras, mard, and uh, whatever they want to do, they will do. There's no stopping it. May I have patience? Me. I just, I just wish I had the patience and t taken all the, you know, like Imam Hussain, but Imam Hussain did have a sword. He did fight against the army of Yazid. Only Hazrat Abbas was, we were told, did uh, not. So, this has been happening since year 2000. I 
lost my grace again, God's grace on me, which was given to me when in 1990, end of 1989. Anyway, so continuing my live stream. Feeling the hot, warm on my skin, under my skin. Breast, my breasts are being violated, molested. Tight kar de de hai. Breast ko. Phir ko chung ra hai. And so it's very, very. Please. And then they send a man on a Pakistani man. This guy, a positive prophet, right? The their installed guy on uh, their installed guy. Sorry, huh? their installed guy <coughs> on uh, YouTube gets like uh, Khalil Andani, Mira, Mary kya halat hai? And uh, you know, keep safe and this. And I get all the kachuras, right? Men coming. So please, my breasts and, you know, they tighten it. And then, uh, crawling under my skin. The side best, kiss kar Because, you know, I give that hadith of dear Dr. David Wood. I really can't believe that a man. This really happened. You know, I shared, uh, I shared that video of uh, David Wood <coughs> that uh, this man started to against uh, Prophet Muhammad. Was it started that this crawling and they start to get smooching. You're on my side. You know the naked man. The naked, uh, the kissing. That's also happened. After two or three days, it happened. So they're getting me like this. They've got me, please. I can't control this. And my breasts and here in the middle. And if I don't take the pillow and, uh, you know, hold it, because I'm so, and make a cross, but it doesn't help. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes when they want to attack me, molest me, kissing, under my skin, crawling, my private parts, they've got my private parts. Now you will see this is a public, uh, I have to come out to it. Because then, you know, they're trying to trap me in every way. And if I then abuse, they'll say she's abusive. She's the one. You see, uh, and then while sleeping also this time, I could hear a man's voice when uh, Ankh, when I awaken during my sleep. Kya <coughs> hai? Batao hume, tell us what is it? All the time, <laughs> this has been going on. And I don't realize that, Baba, it's not going to end. No. Kya hai? Batao hume. So, you know, like my brother going, if someone. Like my father said, I'm going to Lahore. So I thought maybe he's uh, trying to solve my case, go after my enemy mm -hmm. in Lahore. No, no, nothing like that. Or someone going to London and I thought, oh my God, Allah, I hope they investigate about Yusuf Saidi. No, it's going to happen. Like, your brother has gone. No, no, they had gone for their vacations and all this. And I'm thinking my case is being solved here. Many years back. So, I got the worst of it. Even my aunt who was praying for us to protect us. But she was like, she was such a believer that she used to tell me that don't be in despair. She said when she had this spiritual person, <coughs> spiritual person helping her, she said it was it felt like we are in the, in the middle of the sea. And I'm telling him, Sahi, 
there's no God. So after having told me never to despair and never to say such a thing, it's kufr. She was telling Sai, you know, sitting at the John Namaz prayer mat, on the prayer mat, and the spiritual and person was, uh, mm. <coughs> was helping him. So he's from among jinn. She told me he's a pure jinn and mm. uh, all this. My youngest son, not this one who jinns pop in and pop out, and uh, the other one. So, mm. you know, because she's going to get it in Karachi. She told me, I, I don't want to locked. I can't give you the ID. I can't give you the name of the person who is doing this to us. I'm trying my best. So one day, she felt like she was in the sea, on the, like a sign would show her things. And they're praying like they're on the sea. And she's saying, Sai, I feel there's no God. Who's going to help my sister and my family? Like that. She was really, there's no God. She's telling Sai with a spiritual entity, Jinn, helping a pure Jinn. She's telling Sai now, I feel there's no God. Who's going to help my uh, nieces? Muqaddas, huh? So they got married, thank God. Maha and Abir <coughs> got married because she was telling me that all my sis her sisters, daughters that we are, the woman, the man, which wants us to become badmash, you know. In many, many things, like we act, since childhood, uh, they put it on me, like, <coughs> not proper in education, So recently when something, they tighten my breath all of a sudden. And I'm talking here on the some video I was making. I was so, like, you know, pissing coming under my skin, here in the middle, going up a little, on the chest. This is like X-rated, I'm telling you. Right, whoever is doing that, then they'll put it on me that I'm maligning people from my family. Mm. And you know my gr uh, grandfather uh, and Ali Sajwani and all these people, my father, Ali Sajwani's wife is from Daud Ibrahim, you know, friends. India. And also from Dubai. Oh, this uh, channel, Indian channel was saying that the basis of crime start with them. Like the crimes, even Pakistanis who want to do, they can just make a phone call. Or they can, no, no, they I don't on, over the phone, they discuss it in Dubai and uh, from the this free port and I don't know how, but uh, the crimes can happen from Dubai. They are decided, Pakistanis and Indians, corruption and deception. Planning and you know on the way. So, excuse me. My back. And so the uh, very painful. And I don't know. Yeah, so please, from childhood, huh? it has been on us. My aunt later on, much later, it was too late for her. Allah, Afsar auntie told my mother, the jadu on you is very, very old. I can't. Remove I can't it. break it. With prayers, mm -hmm. please, huh? Uh, and uh, things like, you know, hifse jawad, hifse jawad. They have Iranis. And uh, from, we get it from Iran, the true one. Hefzi Jawad was on me <coughs> in this kind of a metal necklace. 
I had to wear Hefse Jawad, huh? With all these prayers and all since Karachi. Still crawling, feeling and warm. Like some tightening of my breath. Touching, kissing. Felt beard of a man. You know, like beard or, yeah. No, no, mustache. Why am I saying beard? beard? Lips. Lips. Lips and of a man, huh? On my skin. I'm feeling that. Now and again. Hifsi Chawad. No, that's like the protection from Imam Muhammad Jawad, Imam Raza's son. The only son, Imam. We are told Imam Raza. And other duas like you keep for the little, you, if it's saffron, Surah Yasin for the children, kids. Written on a quad. Written on a quad. So I, that's why I started to abuse here, my mind, and they had drugged me or I felt, I felt that the subari was, then I exchanged it. Tamaki school. Yes, so Bari was medicated as Karwasa. And oof, when they do that, they even make it worse. Like it backfires on me, it doesn't work. The psychiatric medication, it aggravates to some fold, manifold. <coughs> So this way they're torturing me. <clears throat> okay, at least here for some time, the breast molestation stops in Karachi when I was resting, especially on bed. When I now get up, so you're going to say that 24 hours walk? The moment I come and sit on bed and want to rest, voices to increase uh, in force. I, so I had to put all the electricity off to check. I did some distance mind uh, uh, research. What cardboard, what thing? Some lady told me that I've put stones on my... Some lady was a target of this distance wine control. <clears throat> On uh, some place where Facebook started or some email. I don't know where I found her. <clears throat> so she was uh, telling me, an, uh, a foreigner, that you go on the roof and with your parents, like, tell them to hold one finger, like... Uh, and pray really? with you, with you. Like, you know, take the time to sit there in your room. Not like come outside and, like my father told me, that come inside and pray on your body. My mother did that when she wasn't even feeling well. She put her hands around all my body and praying on me. My aunt got her in Karachi when they were alive. When I was telling her, I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't know she had cancer. So, uh, this kind of, and watching, that's another thing. You know, going to the bathroom and then my uncle here telling me that I know what your ghusl and Ghusl, you know what ghusl is? So privately they say these things and they expect us to, like now I've come out on, since many years now, 20, 40, maybe it's going to be 40 years, I won't get one. Trust. So I was thinking a friend of mine said trust in God. Now which God shall I trust in? After all, even the my aunt who 
told me that I said, oh my God, I, where is God? He says, no, no, no. Dheer hai, andheer nahi hai. Like we say this. No, no, don't say this. Kufar hai, kufar. She started with her jinn, say, saying that, where, where? Sai, you are helping me, but... Ah, oh, my niece, help my niece, help my sister. They're sending her, doing dirty things, sending her to the servant to be raped. She told me when I was in London, but uh, sex hota hai, like feeling of, like you want to sleep with someone. Masturbate. Because she told me that uh, at least I know that I'm married. So she had her husband. Asghar, uncle. Asghar, bai. Right? And she said, I can't save. Like her sister gone because her, her sister's uh, husband is married to another. So her sister has to sleep with servants. When I was in London, in the house, my father got this done, that my mother should sleep with the servants. And when I came back, it was too late to save my mother.